while we're on the subject of being fooled, this is Pat with Pat's Two Cents. Stuck on stupid, 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 stupid. Don't be stuck on stupid. And don't let stupid be stuck on you. This is what I want to tell you young lovers, wherever you are. And some of you old lovers, mm -hmm, old like me. Don't be bought in by the scams. Some of you people are out there looking for love in all the wrong places. And I'm not even talking about nightclubs. You start looking for love and then you put your supernatural, demonic, rose-colored glasses on and you see wings and halos and oh, oh, he seems so real. Oh, she seems so genuine. Sure they do. Listen, be very careful. The reason I say that is because I have heard of too many people who are out there looking for love, waiting for their Romeo or waiting for their Juliet, who is nowhere on the way because God's processing you in other areas of your life. You need healing, you need gratification, you need reaffirmation, but you don't need it from another person. You need it from your divine Father in heaven. He's the only one who can give you what you need to the full. No human being can do that. Though they can love you, they can like you, they can... But there are things in here that only God can fill. And you're looking for another human being for that. Don't. That's putting responsibility on another pair of shoulders where it does not belong. No human being can do that. No matter how much you may think, wish, pray, wonder, oh, fantasize, no. No matter how hard and how, how clearly you do so, it's not going to happen. You have got to be whole. If you go into relationships fragmented, if you go into relationships needy, 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 desperate, hungry, horny, whatever the case may be, hard up, broke, busted and disgusted, whatever your needs are, if you hook up with those motivations, it's not going to last any time. Many of you will end up in relationships where people will play you like a fiddle, baby. Oh, they know your number. They see you coming. They see the word desperate written all across your forehead. Oh, here comes a good one now. Yeah, I know how to play this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you really, really think they care for you. You really, really think they, they're, they're becoming attached to you, this is my soulmate. No, 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 this is your, your snare from hell. That's what it is. And the reason you'll know it is two or three years down the road, every other day they'll be busting you upside your head or, or emptying your bank account, buying clothes, shopping for this, shopping for that, going out with the girlfriends, hanging out at your expense while you're working two or three jobs just to keep your head above water. She doesn't care about you. The guy beating you upside your head doesn't care about you. So what are you doing? Are you that desperate? Now I'm not trying to holler at you because I know needy people are deaf. Usually they've got a lot of emotional pain. So I'm not trying to pick on you. I've been there. I've been, I've done that and I know what it's like to be stuck or stupid, 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 stupid. Don't be stuck on stupid. And don't let stupid be stuck on you. Amen? Ask God to open your eyes to the truth so that you don't get caught up in a, <laughs> in a trick bag that ends up being a millstone tied around your neck, choking the life out of you so that you can say, Somebody love me enough to marry me. 
Please. Uh-uh. See, I'm one of those kind of ladies. I'm always going to have me a man. And the reason I'm always going to have me a man is because I present myself. See, I make sure I'm looking good 24-7. I'm not like some of y'all ladies that let yourself go. And see, you know, the Bible says he that finds a wife finds a good thing. Well, see, I'm wife material because I know how to keep a man happy. See what I mean? <laughs> oh, yes, I do. That's one thing I've always been good at, baby. Anyway, so... Even the pastor been checking me out. Shoot. I was thinking about giving him a little play. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, but see, um see I'm not I'm not one of those kind of ladies can be alone. Oh no, I can't be by myself. No. no I gotta have me a man. A man got to be in my bed every night. I don't care who he is. He got to be in my bed every night. I'm sorry. I No, honey, I'm I'm not one of those kind of people that that can live like a spinster. That is it's not normal. It's not normal. How can you live like that? I mean, you got all this and you ain't got nobody to share it with? That's crazy. How can you live like that? Don't you feel weird? I mean, you're not, you know, What's up? Mm. Well, anyway. Well, I got these needs. I was born with them. I'm supposed to use them. All right? So, anyway. Don't be trying to act like I'm being all, all backslidden and I'm acting like a sinner. I, I, I'm a good person. I don't steal. I don't drink. I don't get high. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. But I sure know what to do with a man. Oh, yeah. See, anyway. Look, you need to get off my case. I'm serious. You really need to get off my case. You have been on my case about going to church with mom and pop and hanging out with the family. You know they don't want me around. They treat me like I'm the black sheep. No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to let them treat me that way. No, because I'm not a black sheep, baby. I'm a woman. I'm a phenomenally phenomenal woman. And I don't mind flaunting my stuff. You hear me? You ain't got a man. You sitting up there looking like a spinster, looking like a nun. You ain't got a man, but you want to sit up there and cram my party and, 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 and rain on my parade. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. No baby cakes. I'm sorry. That's not happening here. I'm going to live my life. I'm going to live it up. So you sit there and you can pet your little dog and pet your little cat and feed your little bird and watch your little la-la-la Christian programs all you want, baby. But I'm going to tell you something. When I go to bed, I'm going to bed warm. Toasted, because I got somebody's arms wrapped around me. And I'm sick of you looking at my face. What you looking at me like that for? You ain't got an ounce of makeup, and you look like a turtle. And you gonna sit up there and act jealous, because I know how to make myself look good. I know how to get a man's attention. Oh, yes, I do. That's something you could go to school for. A little seminary you keep going to. You ain't married, baby. You need to get yourself a man. Because you sure ain't looking like nothing no man would be looking at. I'm telling you. I'll tell you what a man wants. But see, you ain't interested. Because you're too busy with your head buried in that Bible. You got to live with reality, girl. Shh. That's okay. I'm going to have my man and you're going to be alone. I'm going to live it up, and I'm always going to have some arms around me, and you going to be alone, and you're going to die alone. You're going to sleep alone. Everything you do, you're going to be alone. So I don't want to hear it. Nobody won't live like that. What kind of life is that? I don't know how you make it. How boring. Ugh. I tell you what, baby, I ain't bored. <laughs> tell you that right now, I'm not bored. 
I'm not empty. What are you talking about? I'm empty. I'm out of here, girl. I think I hear my man calling me. Let me go. I hear the bell ring. Well, now that you see <laughs> how a person acts who is not in tune with God at all, let me share this with you real quick. <laughs> that was a skit, y'all. Please don't take that seriously. <laughs> Listen. When you've got to walk around wearing makeup this thick, and you've got to wear your cleavage and your clothes all tight. And you've got to wear all tons of hair hanging down to your backside, trying to get attention from a man. Something's wrong. I don't care how many times you claim Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Something is wrong. Trust me on that. There's a neediness deep down inside. And you have to understand there, there is a deep-seated need for healing. Healing. Yes, healing. Inner healing. There's a void in there. There are holes in your soul. And you need to call out to God. No man. No weenie. No bedside manner. Nothing. No man's money. No man's good looks. None of that is going to fill what is really longing in your soul? No man is going to... I'm going to get this makeup off me for somebody comes on and sees the video and says, What's that woman? <laughs> I just got through doing a skit, y'all. So I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned for station identification. Well, that makeup's kind of hard to get off. But anyway... <laughs> All right, I'm back. Um, listen, when you feel like you've got to wear 10 tons of makeup to totally change your look and grab people's attention, there's a neediness in here. Let me tell you where that comes from. A lot of times, ask me how I know, a lot of times that comes from broken relationships. And from your heart being broken. So now you're trying to compensate for a loss. But see, some of that stuff you have had to let go of, it's not really a loss. But to you it is. Because you want a man in your life. What about God? Do you know God must come first? Anytime a man means more to you than God, you have an idol on your hands. Anytime you spend two and three hours in front of the mirror trying to make everything look just so, that's an idol. See, God says, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Many of us do, and we don't realize it. We call ourselves born-again Christians. We call ourselves women of God. But the... The principle of the Bible in a woman's appearance and a man's appearance is modesty. Some of us need to look up and see what that word really means. Because we think that modesty means not wearing your skirt up to your tush. That modesty means not letting your nipples show after showing off your cleavage. No. See... <clears throat> You're looking for a husband, a lot of you women. You're looking to make yourself feel beautiful because you feel like you were a flop because something had to have gone wrong for the relationship that you just came out of to fall apart. No, sometimes that's God's hand breaking up relationships because that's not what God has for you. See, Oh, golly. See, I wish I could share with you, really make you see what it means to have a real man who has a real relationship with God, who knows how to love a woman, how to respect a woman, and how to allow her to be herself without him ruling and reigning and dominating and 
being domineering and bullying and all of that. No. A real man doesn't have to do that. He didn't have to raise his voice to get his desires met because he knew how to treat me. So when you have men that either are extremely jealous, they want to control you, they want to tell you when to go, when to come, when to fart, when to burp, when to eat, when to sleep. They want to tell you who to talk to, who not to talk to, who to hang with, who not to hang with. What family members they don't like, which means you're not to hang with them either. No, that's bad news, baby. See, having a man is not all that important, not as you think it is. What you need to do is have yourself. You and God. God will teach you how to appreciate yourself, how to love you. And as long as you're out there scratching and digging, scratching and digging, and wearing tons of, of cologne and wearing all kind of costumes to get his attention and her attention and their attention and whatever, you need it that bad, baby. Something's missing in your soul. I remember Frankie Crocker on WWRL in New, in New York used to say, uh, I'm going to quote it because I think it's cute. This is the show that puts more dips in your hips, more cut in your strut, more glide in your stride. And baby, if you don't dig it, you know you got a hole in your soul. Well, I tell you this, if you can't understand what I'm saying, if you can't dig it, you got a hole in your soul. And you might have a hole in your head with some of these guys you hook up with. Especially when you claim to be a daughter of God. You know God would not hook you up with that. You know it. But your flesh is making all kind of excuses, isn't it? Yes, it is. Come on. Tell the truth. Shame the devil. When are you going to wake up and realize you are a lady? You are a child of the Most High King. You're not somebody's little plaything. You're not his toy. Huh? <laughs> okay. I'm not trying to make you feel bad. But I feel so strong that God is saying there are ladies out there walking eyes wide open. Some of you, your legs are too. Right into Satan's traps. And you know it. But you'd rather have that than nobody. Really, as Pastor Cushman used to say, warming yourself by the devil's fire. Mmm, feels so good. Mmm, warm and fuzzy. Ah, oh, I like that loving feeling. Warming yourself by the devil's fire. If you really knew who the devil was, you wouldn't give him the time of day. Mm -mm. You wouldn't give any of his suggestions the time of day. If you knew who God really was, you certainly would not. But one of the biggest problems in this day and age is many of you do not fear God. You don't fear him. Just like many of you didn't fear your parents. You didn't fear your parents. They told you no, you said yes, you did what you want to do anyway. And you grew up that way. And you treat God the same way. I'm done. I just hope and pray that you wake up before it's too late. Before it's everlastingly too late. Lord have mercy on you while you're in the valley of decision. Decide, babies. Decide. You don't have much time. 